This video is about the Taylor series theorem for complex analysis. Now, the first thing you will notice in here is that the Taylor series for complex analysis is similar or almost identical to the Taylor series of real analysis. But the proof is a little different, so I will teach you how to prove this Taylor series of complex analysis. Another thing is that in exams, sometimes they ask what is Taylor series in complex analysis or derive the expression for Taylor series for complex analysis. Or sometimes they will ask what is Taylor's theorem for complex analysis. Both of these things are same thing. They are asking you to prove the Taylor series theorem. Okay, so what do this theorem tells us? This theorem tells us that let Fz be analytic inside and on the circle C with center A and z is any point inside the circle c then then what happens if there is a function fz which is analytic inside a circle c and the center of that circle is a and z is any point in that circle then we can expand fz in the form of this which is fz is equal to f of a plus z minus a f dash a plus z minus a square by 2 factorial f double dash a plus z minus a cube by 3 factorial f triple dash a. Now, if you know the Taylor series of real analysis, it will be like fx is equal to f of a plus x minus a f dash a plus x minus a square by. So, it's just change the x to z. But remember z is equal to x plus i y. This is not like just change of variable. It's a little bit different. This is the general expression. We can change this to this one. Like if we put z is equal to a plus h, this will change to this. And then this will change to f of a. And then f of a will remain f of a because there is no change in a. But here in here, z minus a will change to h because z is equal to a plus h and a and a cancels each other. So we remain with h so h f dash j similarly in here h square by 2 factorial f double dash a and so on now in also if we put a equal to 0 then it's the maclaurin series for complex analysis or we can say real analysis because there is no z in here if we put a equal to 0 then it becomes a maclaurin series so now let's prove the taylor series it's simple. Just we have to take the definition and do some manipulation and then we will get the Taylor series for complex analysis. And remember that we will use the Cauchy integral formula to prove this. So if you have watched the Cauchy integral formula video, you first have to go and watch that video and then come to this video. So you will understand this video better. So now let Z is any point inside the circle C. Take a point Z in the definition there is a point z arbitrary point inside the circle c and fz is analytic in c this is a condition fz is analytic there is no singularity in the circle also now now we will do some construction some manipulation to prove we will make a circle c1 with center a that means c and c1 will be a concentric circles and such that c1 encloses the point z that means we will make a circle such that it encloses the point Z. Let's call this C1. Now, let's say that the points on the circle are T, T dash, T double dash and so on. So, let's take a T point on the circle. T. Now, we will evaluate this term right here. You will say why we are evaluating this term. Because this term will take us to the Cauchy integral formula. Remember that there is a 1 upon t minus z thing in here. And f of z is equal to f of t upon t minus z. So now we will subtract and add a in here. Why? Because we need a in our expression. So now we will just change the sign to negative in here. So we get a t minus a minus z becomes positive and a becomes negative z minus a. We will take this t minus a common. These steps are also used to prove the Lorentz series. So now we will take this common and we get 1 minus z minus a upon t minus a. How we got this thing in here? We just multiplied this term by t minus a and divided by t minus a and t minus a got out common and we get a 1 minus z minus a upon t minus a inside. So now we will take this up there. So we get this term in here just the power became negative 
now this is the binomial expansion of 1 minus x raised to the power minus 1 which is equal to 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus x is square 4 and so on so if we just do that in here so we get 1 upon t minus a 1 plus z minus a over t minus a plus z minus a square upon t minus a square and so on so now we will multiply this 1 upon t minus a inside. So we get 1 upon t minus a plus z minus a upon t minus a whole square, z minus a whole square upon t minus a whole cube and so on. So after solving all this we get 1 upon t minus z which is this one equals to our expression. So we get 1 upon t minus z equal to this expression. Now we will just use the Cauchy integral formula. To do that we will multiply it by ft and 1 upon 2 pi i and we will integrate it along the curve c1 with respect to dt. So we did this to every term. So we just multiplied by ft and 1 upon 2 pi i every term and there is a t minus a already and we integrate it along c1 every single term and with respect to dt. Now comparing this expression with the Cauchy integral formula. So take a look at this term first. There is a t and there is a z in here. There is a z here. There is a a in here and the power is 1. That means n is 0. So this and the here n factorial is 0 factorial which is 1. So this thing in here is fz. So we got a fz in here. Now take a look at this thing. This is similar to fa if we compare it by this. So we got a fa. We will take the z minus a outside and comparing this y, the Cauchy integral formula, we get n as 1. f dash a. There will be a 1 derivative and 1 factorial is 1. And other thing is that there is t in place of z and uh, a in place of a. So this is f double dash a by 2 factorial. So now comparing this term with the Cauchy integral formula we get a z minus a outside and this in here gives us f dash a because here if n is 1 there will be 1 factorial and n plus 1 1 plus 1 will be 2. So we get a f dash a. Similarly, if we solve for other terms, we will get a z minus a square by 2 factorial f double dash a and so on. So this is how we prove the Taylor series theorem for complex analysis. So thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.